All right, it's Gay Spirit Podcast. We back. Make sure you like, share, subscribe to the page. Hit the thumbs up button. If you like the content. So today we're going to be listening to Ice Cube talk about the big three and cancel culture and what's going on with him and everything. So let's get into it. you like share subscribe also too if you want to donate to the sketchpad podcast thank you for your donations man i just want to say that you know what i'm saying thank y'all for your donations without y'all we wouldn't be nowhere thank y'all so much for all the subscribers we are at four thousand subscribers and i remember when we was just saying we wanted to get to 500 <laughs> yeah and yeah. now we have four thousand which is yeah. nuts so yeah hey man we're gonna keep banging these joints out y'all keep on helping us here and we're gonna do it you're gonna have no no way to donate i mean i know i know times are hard for everybody so if you can't donate just share the video we will appreciate that too even if you just come on and and make a decent comment you know what i'm saying so it is what it is but let's get into what ice cube had to say about the big three and what's going on with him all right man let's go Yo, what's cracking? You know what it is. It's your homeboy Ice Cube. Um, and some of you may not have realized um, that I'm not part of the club. And a lot of you listening to me right here, right now, you're not part of the club either. And what I realized with the club is what makes them so mad is when you don't want to be a part of their fucking club, that pisses them off. What club am I talking about? I'm talking about the club of gatekeepers that we all got to deal with. You know who they are. And they definitely know who they are. Um, A lot of people would be like, what? Who, who, who? Come on, man. Stop playing. So, ever since, ever since I put out the contract with Black America, you know they've been fucking with me. Here and there, this and that. But it's cool, you know. (laughs) I expect that. Um... You know, I've been working with, you know, on the big three for a long time. And you know how they've been fucking with me with that. I done made it, you know, plain, simple, and clear what they've been doing. You know, the NBA been fucking with us. Now, a lot of people might say, like, well, but Cube, you want to work with the NBA. Really, I don't give a fuck about working with the NBA. What I want them to do when I say work with us, is to stop working against us. Stop doing that bullshit behind the scenes that we know you're doing. Um, Mainstream media, you know, they ain't fucking with us. And that's cool. We can do it ourselves, you know what I'm saying? We still on the rise without these motherfuckers. So if we don't need them, you don't need them, you know? So what am I going to do? to deal with these motherfucking gatekeepers. Well, what I'm gonna do is go on a Fuck the Gatekeepers podcast tour. And I'm gonna go talk to everybody, everybody, you know, and get a chance to get my message out to the people. Um, Be able to let people hear from me, you know, And, and, you know, you might agree, you might not, but the, the important thing is, you know, for me to go on these platforms, say what I feel about what I think and, you know, 
Some people may get pissed off because I'm going to talk to everybody. I'm not playing. And um, it's gonna be a, it's gonna be a crazy summer. It's gonna be fun. Appreciate y'all. Always support the big three. Hopefully I'm doing stuff that you guys dig. You know, I'm not doing this for me. I'm doing this for people that's bored as fuck in the summer with summer sports and want something cool like the big three. So here we are. Appreciate you. Much love, much respect from your homeboy Ice Cube. Remember that. All right, man, Ice Cube. Talking about the big three, cancel culture, and uh, the gatekeepers. <clears throat> so, it's a couple of things I want to say, and um, I want to say that I respect Ice Cube and I commend Ice Cube for what he's doing. <clears throat> there are some people, and I'm going to name names. I'm going to name names because I believe that they should be named. There are some people like Talib Kweli, for example, who is working against black America. And what I mean by that is he thinks in his head that he's working for black America by actually putting things in place where he is criticizing people who don't agree with him. What I'm saying is I disagreed with him on one of his posts and he called me a white supremacist. He called me a Nazi lover. Now, as you can see, <laughs> I'm black as hell. You know what I'm saying? But the, the trick that most of these guys pull that's at his level is they want to cause division and they want to be very, very, very divisive on things. What Ice Cube is doing is he's calling out the elites from both sides. He is not picking a side. He's saying, listen, this is what the contract of black America meant. Whoever can help us is the one that we're going to go with. So whether you Republican or whether you're Democrat, if you're going to help us, this is what the contract of black America was. Mm -hmm. When you got people like Talib Kweli who stands in the way of it by causing division all the time. Again, no one's saying that racism doesn't exist. No one's saying that. But what I am saying is you keep it going by constantly pointing the finger at people who are not racist. By assuming because the sins of people's forefathers, you're saying that they inherit racism. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And to me, that's the wrong approach to take if you're trying to connect society together. See, my thing is most of you, most of you people are hypocrites when it comes to this type of stuff, because you will say that you're against white supremacy or, or the tyrannical government. But if you look and see who they work for, they work for a white organization. Mm -hmm. You promote your stuff on a white platform. And and I'm gonna say this, and I'm gonna let you go. The reason why the the reason why it's it's uh it's allowed is because you have freedom of speech in America. So you can say something to me, and I can't really say anything about it because you are, have the right, whether you are racist or not, you have the right to call me a slur because that's your freedom of speech. What Ice Cube is doing with the big three and with uh, his contract with America is what I believe that black people should be doing. So when he says he's not a part of the club and if you listening, you're not a part of the club either. I a hundred percent agree with that because of people mm -hmm. like Talib who, 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 who causes division 
by his rhetoric and the stuff that he says. People like him, you can have an opinion and you can disagree with me, but if you're going to tell me that I'm a Nazi lover or I'm a white supremacist, <laughs> how can we have any constructive dialogue if I say to you, well, I don't, I, don't, I disagree with what you're saying. No, you're a white supremacist. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, like, so the floor is yours, man. Shout out to Ice Cube, though. Man, I hate that uh, have a large platform and they have a large following and things like that. They, uh, instead of them to promote the right thing, they always promote division. They indirectly do it. You know what I mean? Some might realize that they're doing it and then the others don't. But they're doing it. And um, I'm surprised. I never knew that. Uh, I remember you told me something pertaining to the Talib issue or whatever. But I'm surprised he said that, man. Like, I'm I'm really surprised. It made me, that made me look, look at him kind of different. You know what I'm saying? Because, like, Bro, listen. I, don't f I, I, he I don't feel like he should be saying nothing like that to, to anybody, that, especially somebody like you who is all about your people and you know what I'm saying? But you, but you're about the people for the right reasons. You know what I'm saying? Not for the wrong ones. And like, that's, man, that's shocking to me. <clears throat> Disagreeing with him in, in, in certain things, like <clears throat> I'll tell a real quick story before we get out of here. And uh, unless you want to talk a little more, but yeah. there was a, uh, he posted something about turning point USA. And I said, he said that uh, he said that Ben Shapiro was a was a white supremacist. So I said, uh, I don't think Ben Shapiro is a white supremacist, bro. And he says he is. Look it up. So I said, how is Ben Shapiro a white supremacist? He's he's a he's a Jew. He wears the the the, the yarmulke. Was the yarmulke? Yarmulke? Yes, yeah, yarmulke. Yarmulke. Yeah. So he's a he's a white supremacist. He's a part of the Nazi clan. I could have swore that Nazis didn't like Jews, <laughs> like, right? I'm sure they didn't, right? So he says, "Yeah, he is." So I said, "Well, how do you? What is your evidence of this? Where's your proof?" And he says, "He's a part of Turning Point USA, and they're part of the KKK." So I said, "Wait a minute." So what are, what are you saying? Are you saying he a part of the KKK, he's a Nazi, or he is a part of white supremacy? Which one? You got to tell me. So he's like, he he said he says, um, I don't have to tell you, you just look it up. So I said, bro, and that's how I came back. I said, so I went and I did my research. And I came back and I said, bro, that's not what this is. What are you talking about? I said, D -d no, that's no. So I pointed certain things out to him. And he says, oh, you're just a shield. For white supremacy. So when I prove you wrong, your comeback is you are a shield for white supremacy. You get what I'm saying? Now I'm not gonna try to sit here and make it like me and Talib have a personal uh, uh thing because we don't. We have a personal thing, but he does this with everybody that has a disagree with him. He 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 tags his his loyal followers and say white supremacist alert or Nazi lover alert. That's very embarrassing. When you're trying to have a conversation with someone, that's one. Two, that's very childish for you to call somebody a name. And three, knowing that you have over a million people on your platform, and I agree, I mean, I will say that he has a million people, but I do believe that those million people are only on it to argue with him, a good portion of them. But you have a million people on your platform and you, you tag somebody and say, this guy is a part of white supremacy. That can literally get someone killed. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You yeah. you say that someone is a part is a part of a Nazi lover. You call me a Nazi lover, right? And let's just let's just say I go somewhere and they say they recognize who I am. And someone does something to me. And they say, "Yeah. Talib said you was a Nazi lover." Mm -hmm. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. 
And it's very sad that he 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 gets he stooped to that level. But again, I, I'm sorry I went off on a tangent. But as far as Ice Cube goes, Ice Cube is the model of I believe the black men and people should follow when it comes to getting things done for black America. Not people like yeah. Talib. The people like Talib, he gonna always cause a division and split people up. You, what you think, calling people Nazis and white supremacists, you think that's going to bring us together? No, it's not. So. Yeah. Um, I, I, you know, as far as the Cube situation, you know what I'm saying? Um, Cube going to be all right. You know what I'm saying? That man's a hustler. It's going to always be a good day for Ice Cube. <laughs> Let me just put it like that. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. What I'm saying? Um, I don't see, look, y'all could try to stop Cube from making what he need to make all he want. There's always going to be people out there that's going to support Cube. We support Cube. We stand for that. You know what I'm saying? It, and now I kind of understand why you don't see the big three in certain areas, because I know it comes on ESPN sometimes, you know what I'm saying? But I never can catch it because of the time frames that it comes on i'm like either at work or i'm sleeping you know what i'm saying yeah so it's like i kind of understand now what he's talking about because i'm like dang they say the big threes out and then you know what i'm saying i can't even catch it on tv like that and i'm a hooper so i like watching some basketball especially with a, a, a lot of uh, older guys they still whooping like I want to watch, man. I want to see what they up to. You know what I'm saying? I know I've seen Jamal Crawford on there a few times. I seen, uh, I seen, um, I seen, uh, what's his face? They used to play for the Rockets. He was on there. Like I seen some like, you know, retired ballers, but they still getting it done on the court. Abdul Rauf, my man, my man was pooping on that league. You feel what I'm saying? Like, Mm-hmm. Jumper was water. But my point is that I understand now why, you know what I mean, um, it's not being shown in certain locations that you really have to, like, s- scour the, 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 the TV just to find it, you know what I mean? And I don't feel like that's cool. I feel like there should be another alternative. Like, NBA's over in the summer. You know what I'm saying? Not some people don't want to watch the the summer league. Some people just want to watch. You know what I mean? Something different. You know what I mean? And you can't always catch the Euro League if you don't have a certain station. If you don't have a certain station, you're not catching a Euro T, Euro League. And then maybe NBA TV might show a few FIFA games, but that's not always promised. So why can't we watch the Big Three? You understand what I'm saying? So, yo, kudos to uh, Ice Cube, man. For, for his contribution to sports entertainment. Like, you know what I mean? We we salute you because I know it's hard dealing with the big machine, you know what I mean? And um, that's it, man. Yeah, the powers that be, man, they don't want certain things to be where they're at. So shout out to Ice Cube, man. Catch Pat, we out of here. Peace. Yeah.